How to make fire when the matches are gone. Your lighter's empty. And the only thing warm around here is the smell of burning corpses in the wind. Camera pans over a wasteland campsite. Rusted cans. Broken furniture. A half-burned doll's head. Yeah. Welcome to your new living room. You're cold. Your fingers are numb. And that can of beans you found is basically a block of ice. Fire's not optional, it's survival. And lucky you, I'm feeling generous today. You want fire? You're gonna bleed for it. Grab that busted car battery, yeah. The one leaking acid like a horror movie prop and rip out some wire. Strip it with your teeth if you have to. Twist it tight, real tight, like you're strangling your last bit of hope. Now dig around for steel wool. No steel wool? Tear apart a busted scouring pad from a kitchen sink that hasn't seen water since civilization died. Touch the wire to the wool. Sparks. Little angry stars trying to escape. Breathe on it soft, like you're whispering secrets to a dying god. Now feed it paper scraps, dryer lint, old receipts for stuff you'll never return. Smoke curls. Fire's alive. No battery? Fine. Rub sticks until your hands bleed. Break a glass bottle, focus the sunlight, and hope the clouds aren't mocking you. This isn't a step-by-step -step guide. This is desperation science. Everything burns if you're angry enough. The flame catches. The beans heat. You live another day. Congratulations, fire god. Try not to die tonight. How to make fire when the matches are gone. Your lighter's empty. And the only thing warm around here is the smell of burning corpses in the wind.